Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And today I'm really excited because Katarina from Makeup Perspective on Instagram, she and I were doing a collab using a pigment from Tami Tanuka and it was so so hard to decide which one because we have a lot of pigments in common. <laughs> uh, but we ended up drawing a pigment and it ended up being Pat a Cake, which is this stunning stunning pigment. I will just zoom you in. And it has like a pink or purplish um, sheen when you have lighting going directly onto it. But then when you have lighting from the sides, you can see that it shifts through like a gold to a green. And it's just a really interesting shade with so many different colors in it. So we thought it would be fun to use one of those pigments that have a lot of shifts in it just to show like how different it can look in different um, looks basically with different mattes and that kind of stuff. So I will of course link Katarina's uh, Instagram down below and in the end I will put up her photo of her look. As for the mattes I used for my look today, I ended up using a completely new palette which I am so excited about. It is the ABH Norvina palette. It's, I think this is number two. It's the blue one. <laughs> So I was so, so lucky to have this gifted to me for my birthday, uh, which is on the 7th of August, so it actually came quite early. Um, and the people gifting me this was the amazing Faces by Gina on Instagram and Julia K. March. Marsh? <laughs> and I am just so lucky to have gotten this from them. Thank you so much to Gina and Julia for being so, so kind. This is like Gina's favorite matte formula, so I was super excited to try it for the first time and I cannot wait to play with it more. The day we are uploading this, it's going to be the 29th, so this is going to be like a bonus video on my channel because it's going to be a Wednesday and that is actually Katarina's birthday, so happy birthday Katarina and I'm so so excited that you wanted to do a collab with me on your birthday and I hope you enjoy your vacation because she is on a vacation now. So yeah, happy birthday, Katarina. Now let's just get straight into the look. So my plan for today's look is actually to just start off with E3, then like to place that in the inner and outer corner of the crease. Then I want to blend it out with, I think some of these greens I haven't completely decided yet. And then I want some pink in the uh, middle of my crease just because the pigment that I'm going to use today has like a pink to green shift so I think that could be cool. So I'm just going to start off using my Kaleidos Makeup S3 brush and just starting to place this shadow. As usual I am using my NARS Smudge Proof Eye Primer and I'm just placing this down and I'm really excited to see how these mattes perform since I've never used like, I have the Norvina mini something, I don't know, the pink and purple one, but I haven't tried any of these uh, bigger Norvina palettes, so it's going to be interesting to see. Like, they're really pigmented upon first application, for sure. So, as usual, I just buff out the edges. Now I'm just taking a very similar brush to the Kaleidos one, just that this one is a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to pack that pink all in the middle here. That is bright. I'm not trying to blend it too much into the green because that's probably not going to look very nice. Because like pink and green, they don't blend nicely together. <laughs> and I'm not going to use any transition for this pink, so I might as well just try to like blend it out nicely. I'm not really worried about the blending on my lid because that's going to get covered up by the pigment anyway. So here I'm not afraid to like blend because this is what will happen in my crease if I start blending them together and we really don't want that. So now it's actually looking quite good, especially on this side. So I'm just slightly tapping into the sides there. And now I will be taking... I think I'll be going in with A2, that's the almost chartreuse yellowy green shade and I'm using my Kaleidos Makeup S5 brush, it's more of a detailed brush and I'm just, well that is also super <laughs> pigmented, 
I'm just applying that as a transition for that green and a yellow like this actually goes nicely into the pink or it's not like the best blend uh, with pink but it's like workable now I'm just taking that brush that I used with the green first and I'm not applying anything more to it I'm just trying to work a little bit more on the blend here I just tapped a little bit because I feel like right here I don't know if you can see it but I feel like I need a little bit more of that green to make it more even I'm just adding a little bit more of that yellow just because I feel like the blend isn't as seamless here as in the inner corner so I think I didn't blend out the green well enough before starting to apply the yellowy shade and often it's smart not to apply way too much shadow just to like overlap but rather just actually use a little bit more pressure in the blending to be able to move whatever product is already like stuck to your primer if that makes any sense I feel like it's turning out better now I'm like this is looking really crazy right now I know but I swear at least I think it's going to turn out quite pretty once I get that pigment down and I also by the way found this um, Avenue of the Stars literally obsessed by Colourpop that I was planning to maybe use this like a liner just up here because I think that that usually looks really nice but I also have a pigment that I might use from Tami Tanuka it's the illusion of light it's more of like a lime shift in it so that could also be cool so I haven't exactly decided yet but I think I'll just repeat all this on this eye and then we can start with the pigment. So instead of actually doing my other eye simultaneously as this eye, I'm just going to um, try doing this eye first just because like this is looking kind of crazy. So I don't know if it's actually going to turn out the way I want to. So I'm just going to add glitter glue all over my lid now, making sure I go right above my crease so now i'm just taking a flat brush like this and i'm just going to go into pat a cake so i'm like pushing ever so slightly just to loosen up the pigment and then i'm picking it up on the brush and this pigment is just going to go all over my lid so i'm just going to speed up that process a little bit because usually i just apply it and then I like rub it into the glitter glue a little bit so so that is the pigment placed down and I'm just trying to think which liner I might want I think I'll go into my glitterly obsessed today just because I think the sparkles in this one it's just so so beautiful so I'm just going to uh, not show that I think because it takes some time to like place the glitters but I just use a small brush and then I place it on like in the cut crease <laughs> okay so I'm done with my face makeup so now I'm just taking a little bit of this and then I'm going to try to use the more grassy green here for my lower lash line and work just called me and they want me to come early so I don't have that much time to do my makeup now so I'm just going to kind of uh, connect the upper part of my eye with my lower lash line so I'm going to add this here kind of like winging it out a bit and I want this one to go all the way here and then I'm going to use that grass green for the rest of the lower lash line I think and I'm not like a hundred percent happy with the blending here but now i'm not sure if i'll have time to fix it and i don't know if it's the shadows if it's me or whatever <laughs> because these are like this that i'm using right now is more blue toned and this one is more yellow toned so it would make sense that they don't blend the best together mm, and also those light chartreuse colors are often uh, a little bit more sheer and just harder to work with so I'm not going to blame the shadows <laughs> so now I'm just going to take that grass green b3 so I'm just going to hurry up and put some glitter glue in my inner corners I think I'll just leave the lower lash line as it is right now just 
because I don't have time for anything else. So I'm just going to put Tami Tanuka The Illusion of Light as my inner corner highlight. And I'm just going to use that same brush that I used with my lid shade and pack that on right here. Oh, that is so bright. <laughs> so now I'm just going to put some white liner in on my waterline, some mascara, do the close-ups. So that was the close-up of this look and I feel like it ended up being prettier than I first thought because it looked so crazy to begin with and I still have to use these uh, mattes from Narvina to like build up an actual opinion of the shades but they seem super pigmented, they blend out nicely and yeah I'm just super excited to try them more. Um, for the rest of my face, I ended up using my M Cosmetics highlighter in Sidereal, I think it's pronounced. I always have to look that up, but I have no time for that today. <laughs> uh, it's at least like a teal-ish green highlighter. And then I used my Makeup Geek blush in Spellbound. And for my lips, I only used my Colitis Makeup Lucid Lip, Lip Gloss in Mesmerize because it's very comfortable on the lips and it matches the pink in my look. <laughs> um, and I think that's it for the rest of the products that I used. Um, just to end this off, I want to thank Katarina so much for doing this collab with me. Make sure to go check out her Instagram and wish her a happy birthday because as I said, it's her birthday the day I am uploading this video and I would love for her to get some happy birthday wishes. Of course I also want to thank uh, Gina and Julia for being so so kind and gifting me this amazing palette for my birthday. Um, I don't want to like take away the shine from Katarina's birthday but thank you so so much to Gina and Julia, you are the best and to Katarina as well. I'm so lucky to have such good friends that I met on Instagram because of makeup and yeah I'm just so happy and lucky to have met all of you guys. But I think that's it for this video, so I hope that you liked it. And if you did, I would so appreciate it if you would hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!